hello everyone welcome back once again in this video we will look at nope commerce inside the visual studio 2019 we will build run and debug the application within the visual studio 2019 environment but before we get started please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't so let's get to it then so what is really nope commerce nope commerce is an open source e-commerce solution based on microsoft asp.net core framework and ms sql server 2012 upwards for the back end database it provides a catalog front end and an administration to back end allowing shopping cart creation it is available under the nope commerce public license version 3 and officially launched in october 2008 for small to medium sized businesses so as you can see i've got a visual studio opened which is that 2019 visual studio so bear that one in mind so to get started obviously then we have to click on the file and then we open the, the start window so here as you can see we can we can we can get the project by clicking on the clone a repository so we're actually gonna get the the repo from the git so we're just gonna open a browser so browser obviously we're gonna google nope commerce GitHub. So here, as you can see, we can get the the source code, the nope commerce source code, with the latest version from here. So once we are this bit here, so here we can get it by clicking on this bit here, the code here. So we can copy the. The link or the URL once we've got that bit copied and we come inside the Visual Studio and we can just paste the link here so once we've, we're done with that bit then we can click on the clone so this should take a while for the whole um, code or the, the whole project to, to load onto Visual Studio so I'm just gonna pause it while the whole thing gets sorted out so as you can see here now, we've got the source code being um, up uploaded or downloaded. So if we look at it here, we've got um, the, the framework. Uh, the framework contains a bit of the, it's the dot web dot framework, contains a bit of the, uh, the presentation or the front end libraries, the, the knob dot web, which is the main front end as well as uh, the areas which contains the admin section of the application right so we're not going to look too much into the into the um, the source code as this is just to get us started so what we're going to do is just we're just going to run it to see what actually comes out first so here we've got a missed platforms right but this is what we want to start the knob.web is what we want to 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 be our startup project right so if it's not selected make sure you select the knob.web as your as your startup project and then you can go ahead and run it so i'm just going to run it in a uh, okay so what google chrome is selected so we're just gonna run it in the Google Chrome so I'm just gonna click on the F5 or or this bit here so we get the project built being built now so we look at it. I'm just gonna pause it what the whole thing sets up so once anything pops up then I'll come back online so as you can see it's taking a bit longer for the for the first build but while it's building i'm just going to go ahead and explain a bit 
the, the, the source code. So the plugin folder, the plugins folder contains um, all the plugin projects. Yeah. So basically, if you want to build a plugin to the knob, co um, knob commerce, this is where you put a project. So as you can see, it started um, loading now. So I'm just gonna. Uh, wait, oh, I'm just gonna pause it for the whole thing to load. So this is the first screen that you get in a like on the first run. So this is basically the installation bit. So you can add a uh, uh, add me email and password. So I'm just gonna put any password here. Uh, we're just gonna create sample data with it as well so here we're just gonna add the database information so the server will be um, microsoft sql server so we create a database if it doesn't exist so here we're just gonna use the integrated windows installation so this is exactly what we're going to do, we're just going to click next, see what actually happens. So a SQL connection string server name is required. So we're just going to put a server name. So uh, my server name dot backslash SQL Express 01. And we put a database to be NOPCOM. DB. Okay, we put the admin password. So as you can see here now, we've got an installation started. So this actually might take a while. So as usual i'm just gonna post the video while the whole thing loads so if we look inside the visual studio so as you can see we've got this the sql like all the database being created and stuff yeah so if we scroll down we see the whole thing happening okay so i've got debugging stopped for some reason so if you go if you go through the same then Let's just try and you know, restart it again and see what actually happens, right? Because for some reason it actually stopped. Okay, so as you can see here now, we've got the application running now. So as you can see, it's on local host. And you get all the necessary stuff. So as you can see, it looks really nice. So from from this part, obviously you can start working on it and start actually updating or changing whatever that needs to be changed. So as I said, I, I mean from this video on. So um, what I'm gonna do is just leave the video here. And then we, my, my next video, as I said, on this bit is we try and build a plugin just to see how the whole thing comes together, right? So, once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got loads of videos coming up. And have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.